Hello everyone, I am Ala El Jabari from Sina Lab at Birzeit University. Today, I will be presenting our work on event argument extraction corpus and modeling for Arabic using PERT, which I co-authored with my colleagues Lina Daibas, Mustafa Jarrar, and Muhammad Khalili. Let me first notify that the corpora and the model in this presentation are one of the available open source NLP resources and tools that we have developed by our team at Sinalab. Uh, next, the motivation behind conducting the uh, research. Uh, understanding and extracting events from text is essential for applications such as disaster monitoring, emergency responses, insurance, decision support, and many more. But despite the importance of event argument extraction, there is a significant gap in the availability of comprehensive annotated corpora, specifically for under-resourced languages like Arabic. To bridge this gap, we developed a dedicated event argument extraction corpus for Arabic and also model. In our research, we focus on predicting the relationships between specific event and their argument in unstructured text. So, given an input sentence with the predicted named entities, our goal here is to extract the relations between events and other entities within the same sentence. Specifically, we aim to identify the has location, has date, and has agent relationships in sentences describing events. In short, our key contributions are, first, we developed the Wujud Hadath Corpus, which consists of 550,000 tokens manually annotated with the event argument relations. We also introduced a novel methodology for event extraction by framing the task as natural language inference problem and it achieves high performance. In addition, we created Wujud out of domain corpus. It is an additional annotated corpus of about 80,000 tokens, which is designed for out of domain evaluation. Finally, we developed a novel end to end system for event relation extraction. Now, I will turn it over to my colleague, Lina, who will discuss the corpus part. Thank you, Ala. Uh, we would have that corpus is the corpus that we uh, developed for event argument uh, relations. Uh, before I, uh, uh, before I uh, talk about we would have that corpus, I want to uh, I want to identify the original uh, wujud corpus that we extended uh, the event arguments from. Wujud is a rich Arabic uh, nested named entity corpus that contains uh, five hundred and fifty thousand tokens uh, and contains two thousand seven hundred and seventy two annotated uh, uh, events. The wujud hadath uh, corpus uh, we extended from. Uh, this wujud corpus by identifying event arguments as relationships between these arguments and their respective event entities. The relationship types that we used, uh, that we annotated wujud with, uh, are the following uh, relations. Uh, the has agent relation, which specifies the participants involved in the event. The has location relation, which indicates where the event uh, happened, and the has date, which uh, identifies when the event uh, occurred. Uh, Wujud Hadath Corpus uh, consists of 1,974 annotated events uh, with their uh, event argument uh, relations. This table shows each relation uh, total count uh, in the in Wujud Hadath Corpus. A uh, total of uh, 2,588 uh, relations. The annotation guidelines that we uh, built for uh, annotating the uh, event arguments are, first, event arguments are recognized only within the same uh, sentence. Uh, second, uh, some entities, uh, they uh, really refer to the same person. Uh, they must have uh, different IDs. An event can have uh, multiple uh, agents. And finally, two event entities can share the same argument. Uh, all the examples and their diagrams uh, can be found in the paper. Um, 
to evaluate the quality of our annotations, we used an inter-annotator agreement. Uh, in our inter-annotator agreement, we randomly selected 5% of the annotations for the evaluation, and we used the Cohen Kappa and the F1 score uh, for the evaluation. The F1 score is 87.20%, um, and the Kappa to 82.23%. Uh, I will leave you now to my colleague Ala for uh, explaining the methodology for the event argument extraction. Thank you, Lina. Uh, next, our novel methodology for event argument extraction. Our proposal is to frame the relation extraction problem as natural language in free runs task. In this approach, we have two input sentences, the premise and the hypothesis. Using a transformer-based model, we will classify them as a true or false, indicating whether the premise sentence entails the hypothesis or not. For example, here we have two examples. In the first example, we have, uh, we have the premise sentence entails the hypothesis, so it is labeled as a true, while in the second example, the premise sentence does not entail the hypothesis, so we labeled it as false. In our approach, the input sentence is treated as the premise, while the hypothesis is constructed using template to present a possible relation between an event and an entity mentioned in the same sentence. Then, the first model it classifies whether the premise entails the hypothesis or not, indicating the existence of the relation. In Wujud Hadath, we have a corpus of relation. Now, to train our model, our NLI model, we need to transfer this corpus into a dataset of sentence pairs of premises and hypothesis. To construct this NLI dataset, uh, the entity type in Hadath and Wujud Hadath is crucial to select the correct template for generating the hypothesis. For positive hypothesis, we use entities that are annotated in Wujud Hadath as event arguments, but for negative pairs, we use entities that are not linked to events or not annotated as arguments for the event to generate this negative pairs. Here in our example, the entity Gharb Dir al can be used to generate a positive instance while Wakalat Wafa entity can be used to generate the negative pair. The final data set comprises the training and testing pairs. The training set includes about 20,000 pairs while the testing set includes about 2,000 pairs, totaling about 20 3,000 pairs. To train our model, we fine tune the other pairs version 2 using weighted cross and triple loss and contrastive learning as our training objectives. On our event argument extraction model, the result of the model on Hadith NLI dataset achieved high results of about 94% F1 score. These uh, high scores indicate that our model is highly accurate in extracting event arguments from the course. However, to ensure that our model generalizes well beyond the specific data set, we constructed another experiment using an out-of-domain corpus. This step is crucial to validate the robustness of our model across different contexts and domains. Out-of-domain corpus. Wujud out of the main corpus is another corpus that we have annotated with relations. This corpus, manually collected from news outlets such as Al Jazeera and Al Arabiya, it covers events from 2010 to 2022 across 10 distinct domains, and it contains 80,000 tokens annotated with the same relations as Wujud Hada. The results of our model 
on out of the main corpus achieves 83.59% upon a score. And these results are also demonstrate a high level of accuracy. And this consistent performance across different data sets indicate that our model generalizes well and can effectively handle diverse types of text and events. Finally, our end-to-end -end model, which integrates several key components. In our end-to-end -end system, the first component is the named entity recognition, then the template selection, and then the argument extraction module. In, name, in named entity recognition, the model identifies and classifies entities in the text using wujud near service. Then, based on the recognized entities, the system selects the appropriate template for generating the hypothesis. Using this hypothesis, the argument extraction model applies the NLI model to determine whether the hypotheses are true or false. The performance of our end-to-end -end system, which is the baseline, on Hadath NLI or Wujud Hadath has F1 score 93.99% and in the auto domain corpus, the F1 score about 74.90%. And uh, these results also highlight the model's robustness and effectiveness, even in diverse and challenging settings. In summary, we have constructed the Wujud Hadath Corpus, which is a manual and intuited corpus, and we have applied a novel methodology for event argument extraction by framing it as a natural language inference problem. And additionally, we tested our model on an out-of-domain corpus, wujud out-of-domain corpus. And finally, the implementation of our end-to-end -end system for event argument ex relation extraction. We uh, have all of these uh, resources and models open source at our website. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can find more information and resources in our website.